So no slideshow for this section. We are just gonna go straight into it to automate the blogging to the Pinterest. And I showed you in the last part that it was possible. So let's get right into it. So this is really easy to set up. Uh, once you have your connection here, you're just gonna add, and it's gonna be, I like to copy this right here, this little text. Boom, paste it. And so we have the HTTP mywordpresssite.com forward slash WP slash JSON. And so I'm just going to delete all of my WordPress site and I'm going to change it to roofingsupplyco.com or brandonduff.com, whatever it is for your current site. We have that in. Now we need to get the API key. So we're going to go back to our WordPress site. We're going to plugins and we're going to look for make connector and install that. So we're gonna to go to plugins, add a new plugin, and look for make a connector. You should see right here, we're gonna go ahead and install and activate it, and then we'll see it right here. And once you click on that plugin, your API key will be right here. Go ahead and copy that and put it right here and save. From here, go ahead and select all so that you can see your post that you created in the previous trainings. Right click, choose where to start, and you should see some posts here if you've been following along. So we have our two pack light review, we have our test post that Zimwriter automatically created, and then Hello World. So we're gonna go ahead and select this and run it. And as you can see, boom, we have all of the information about that post. And now we are going to build our automation app. Next, we're gonna create a Pinterest board. We do have a free community in the description. Definitely join up, because uh, this is what we do. If you have any questions on how to set this stuff up, uh, definitely around. So let's get into building this. So as you go through this, you can see that we do need to create a board. So we have our board. Uh, you'll need to add a Pinterest. So all you do is add uh, sandbox no, Let's just call this test one so we know to delete it. Uh, and then it's just gonna automatically pop up with things, uh, give access to Pinterest, you just click on it, give access. And then once that's done, it will come back and you'll have access to it. Um, it's verifying the authorization right now, as you can see. Sometimes uh, it just is a little bit slow. But once that is uh, closed and you have your connection already here, you can see that I do have my connection now. I can do the name of the board. So there's a few options here. Um, I'm gonna just name it uh, decorations just so that we can test this because you know, why not? Uh, for the description, I'm just gonna create it as the excerpt. And then for the privacy, I'm gonna do a public. And so that's going to create a board for me called decorations. And so if I run this, uh, it should create a board and I'll have to change it for the second time. Uh, but this is a good way to kind of uh, debug, I guess. So from here, we're gonna create a text um, parse because we need to get the elements of this particular post uh, to get the images. So if we go here, text, uh, we need to find a get elements from HTML. HTML is images and the data is the content. So now we have a parse and get elements. So I highly suggest to save this and then run it once so that you can have it run through and it doesn't like throw errors. So uh, it did, not do anything because we didn't start it from the very beginning. So we'll have to choose where to start, choose manually, and then we'll actually grab that pack. So here we go. It's gonna run, it's gonna create that board, and then it's gonna grab those HTML files. So as you can see now, I grabbed three images. These are the images that it grabbed, uh, and those are the three images in my particular uh, blog post. And from here, we're actually going to iterate. So it's gonna run through and create three images uh, from this text parse. So usually it runs one right after another. So like one, uh, actually I can show you, it runs one, boom, boom, 
boom. So one right after another, but uh, I'll show you the difference when you add an iterator. So we're going to do iteration. I, I can't type with one hand. So iteration right here, and then we're going to grab that. Uh, I believe it's source right here and save. So now we have that and then we're going to Pinterest and create a pin. And again, we're going to uh, grab our, our connection here. It's going to verify that we can actually uh, write to the Pinterest. It's going to say cool. And now we're going to grab that uh, URL. That URL is going to be the value. Board is going to be uh, mapped at the board of the Pinterest. And the title can be the same title for here. It doesn't really matter, or you can just name it like uh, alt text probably. I would say that's probably pretty good. Um, and then link is to the actual link of the blog. And we can see that down here. And so if we have this all correct, it should create a, from our new post, it should create a board, parse the uh, elements, separate all the elements into an image and have three different images and then run them all the way. And this is what I mean by when it goes through. So like one by one, but then when it gets to here, it creates the three images, right? So one, two, three, before starting the next, next one. If I didn't, it would go all the way through, all the way through, and then we would miss the two other images. So uh, very important distinction there. And so if we did this correctly, we should have a new board called test board uh, with three images on the Pinterest. So we're gonna run this, we're gonna choose where to start and choose the same one we've been using, that two pack. And now from when I switch this uh, to going forward, it will actually, any blog post that I create it will do this automatically. So uh, we, I could essentially set up two years of content and <laughs> Pinterest will be automatically sent, uh, boards will be automatically sent, uh, everything will be automatic for creating the blog post, uploading it to the world, uploading it to Pinterest and so forth. So pretty crazy stuff. So let's just run this and here it is. We are three images in. And so if we go to the, the Pinterest board, Pinterest, pin. We should have six images now because we did a three and three. So uh, three and three is because it just grabbed the last two, last three um, from the last one, but already they're getting views. So that is how you automate Pinterest for your Amazon products.